Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another Amazon haul. Recently I mentioned that I have been ordering from Amazon very frequently. It almost seems like every day at this point, so I had mentioned that there were gonna be uh, more Amazon videos than normal. That's why you're seeing this one today. So for today's haul, I have some small kitchen appliances or gadgets, whatever you wanna call them. I've got some beauty items and fashion as well. You literally can type anything into Amazon and you're going to get it. That's why I love it and I know that's why many of you like Amazon as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see what goodies I picked up from Amazon, then just keep watching. So first let's start off with clothing or fashion. I have a pair of leggings or yoga pants to share with you. I actually don't think I've shared any yoga pants with you recently. But I am obsessed lately, it seems like, again, with the brand Reflex by 90 Degrees or 90 Degrees by Reflex. I always get it confused, but I can just look at the tag and it'll tell me. Um, 90 Degrees by Reflex. Lately, that's been my go-to. I go back and forth between them and uh, Yogalicious. Or is it Yogalicious? Yeah, I think that's the name of it. So... These are the ones I recently got, and I'm going to insert a picture so you can see them. I like to get the 7 8 length or the ankle length because I am a little bit shorter. I'm 5'4", and if I just um, order or, you know, go shopping for leggings or yoga pants, half the time they're going to go past my ankles, and I just don't like that look. I like them to be right above my ankles. So um, this is what they look like now. They might just look like they're a basic black, but you guys, and my camera sucks at focusing, but I'm sure you can see... It's like cheetah or leopard print. I love it. And it's a nice stretchy material, but it's like a heavier stretchy material. That's what the back looks like. I'm super obsessed. I just love them. I think they're so different and they're very comfortable. I wore them to the gym the other day. Um, and these were only $22, which is definitely a steal. Um, I know like when you go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you get them for like about anywhere from like $15 to $18. But the chances that they're going to have, like, these cute ones are, like, slim to none. I just see, like, the regular black. So I wanted to shout these out. And for $22, you definitely can't beat it. And then next, I was, I've been looking for gym tops or tops to wear to the gym or from running errands. But with the high-waisted yoga pants um, or leggings, I don't like to just get any type of, um, you know, gym shirt. I like it to kind of be crop. Um, I don't like it to kind of cover and go to my hips since I am wearing high-waisted. So I found these because I was looking at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all those stores, and I just really couldn't find anything. So I found this three-pack. I have them on hangers. Um, if I mean, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it, but, I mean, you guys can kind of see. I found this three-pack of tanks for, I think, like $19.99 or $18.99. Prices tend to fluctuate. But it's just a nice, and it's really stretchy, nice cotton stretchy material. It's not like flimsy or anything, which I like. And it goes like right to the bottom of my rib cage and right kind of like where the um, beginning of my yoga pants start. So you still don't see any of my stomach, if that makes sense. But I really like these, and you can't beat it again for a three-pack. So they had different color variations, and it does... Obviously, you know, that's what the back looks like. So I got the purple, the black, and the gray, as you can see right there. I got the size small. I may pick up a different color variation because there's one I think that had like, um, I think a pink in it. But for Amazon, I was like, you know, I was I was a little uncertain how these were going to fit, how the material is going to be. But it's a really nice stretchy cotton material. I wore this one, I think, yesterday. So I definitely wanted to shout those out, especially if you're looking for like that crop length, but it's not like super crop where you still see, you know, parts of your stomach when you're wearing the high-waisted leggings, because I don't like that, but I like it to just hit where, you know, my yoga pants kind of begin, so I wanted to share those with you. Okay, so next let's get into kitchen gadgets or these small appliances, and I have a waffle maker, a panini maker, and then a kind of flat top cook surface or grill, so I'm going to start off with a panini maker first. Obviously, these are relatively large, so I can't, you know, show you. I'm going to insert a picture and a video clip showing you what they look like. But this panini maker is very heavy duty. It's very fancy. It's almost like a state-of-the-art panini maker, almost like you would maybe see in a restaurant, for example. Um, and it has two cast iron plates that get really hot. 
and there's nice temperature control on it as you'll see they have the knob and you can put whatever temperature you want and it's big too it's not a small panini maker so you could cook like a sandwich and you could also cook like chicken burgers steak etc also has like a nice little um metal attachment that you um push in so any kind of like grease or oils or liquid that is going to drip out drains right into it so it doesn't get sloppy and next is a small electric cooktop or griddle what's nice about this is that you can make pancakes chicken steak um, you name it, you can make a lot of things on this cooktop. And what's nice about it is that um, if you don't want to grill outside, you can use this inside, which here it's still cold. <laughs> it's spring, but it's still cold in New York, you guys. Big shocker. Um, so yeah, that's what's nice about this electric cooktop. You can use it in the convenience of your own home. It's very heavy duty. You can fit quite a bit on the cooktop. It's easy to clean. It's stainless steel. Last mini appliance I have to share with you, but certainly not least, is a waffle maker. This is a serious heavy duty waffle maker. It's not just like the dinky $20 ones that you, you know, get from this like Target or Walmart, which I've tried before. This one's serious. This one actually could be considered a commercial one as well. This reminds me of the one Ones that I see at like a um, hotel when they have continental breakfast it's very heavy duty it's stainless steel it heats up very quickly um, the plates heat up very quickly and you just open it you pour your mix in boom and they come out like perfect delicious waffles what's nice about all three of these appliances is that you get kind of that commercial feel but you can do it from the convenience of your own home and they're very sturdy heavy duty so if you guys are interested in these three items I will have them linked down below so let's move into beauty items first off are these beauty blenders this is by Beaky and this is a pack of 10 it comes with just the regular um, size the black ones are the regular size and then the purple ones have the flat edge so they have five of each and do you want to know how much I paid for this you guys like I think it was $9.99 or $10 for 10 beauty blenders that was the best bargain I could find also I am familiar with this brand I have other beauty sponges from Beaky Blender and I really like the way they pounce and I like the way they feel when you're blending out concealer or foundation I tend to use beauty blenders more for concealer um, so I found this 10 pack for like $10 and I like too that it comes with you know the ones that have the flat the flat side is good for blending out foundation um i don't like to use um you know the other side for blending out foundation if i am going to use a beauty blender for foundation i like to use the flat side and then the pointed side is really good for you know blending out concealer and everything like that next i've heard so many good things about this um and i was all done with my i think it's the neutrogena toner it's the blue bottle and i love that toner especially what i like to use that for is after i go in with a makeup wipe to remove my makeup i will go in with a toner to get more makeup off with a cotton ball and i'll keep going and keep going it's just amazing how many times i can just keep going and just still getting makeup off my makeup wipes don't remove it all so that's what i like to use it for so i'm all out of that but then i'm like you know what let's try this this is the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water all in one removes makeup cleans and soothes they had a couple other variations this one was only three bucks you guys so i was like all right we'll start off with this one and i want to see if i notice a difference of this actually removing more makeup because again like I could sit for maybe over five minutes and just keep removing makeup and just when you think you have no makeup on go in with a cotton ball you still have makeup on you guys like it's crazy <laughs> so I wanted to give this a try I know um, a lot of people like rave about this and again this was only three something on Amazon so I decided to give that a go and then last but not least I needed to get a new nude liner for the waterline the one that I had and I kind of like stopped using it for a while it was just like almost stark white so I went back with to this one I think the rim one I had before was a retractable one they didn't have that on Amazon and I feel like I can never find them at Target or Walmart so um, this one you do have to sharpen but it's a really nice color this is the Rimmel scandal eyes 24 hour and it's in the shade nude I'll kind of swatch it out so you can see it's really creamy but See, I don't know with my lights, again, you guys, I know you complain with this camera and my lighting setup, but um, that's kind of what it looks like. But basically, um, this just helps to kind of 
give your eyes a really awake and bright look. I just think the white just it doesn't look right, but if you go with a nice nude color, it just really makes your eyes look awake as opposed to putting the black in your waterline which I kind of did today so this one's really nice very cheap um, as well so I decided to pick this up because I was having a hard time finding um, you know the other one and then I didn't want to pay like I think this is maybe like under five dollars I want to pay like ten bucks for a nude liner so this is the one I went with I really like it and um, yeah I think that's it for this Amazon haul I'm just getting so much that I don't want to have these videos more than like 10 minutes long so there will be many more Amazon hauls to come let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out any of these items if you're thinking about trying out any of these items I'd be curious to find out but anyways that is it I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video bye